What's up people? Welcome to our channel. Today we will be looking at stone cladding. We will give you the process, the cost and the quantities involved in putting up the stone cladding as you see on your screen. Before we start, building construction can be stressful sometimes. So I wanted us to start on a lighter note with a comment from Noki D I got a month ago. Um, it was, I found it really interesting. I know our audience pays so much attention to details, but I didn't expect this much attention to details. Okay, so let's get to business. So the first thing you need will be the stones. So for the stones, they would usually, they usually sell it in Kia tracks. They have the Aboto Kaimacho, which is the smallest. They have the Bungu, that's the next size. And then the Mighty, and then they have the Rhino, which is the biggest. So what you are seeing on your screen now is the Rhino track. So the Rhino will take twice the quantity the Mighty will take. And that is the Mighty you see on your screen as well. Okay, so for the price per track, as at August of 2021, the Mighty was going for 600 Ghana cities. And the Rhino, which is the biggest, was going for 800. So you will see that it is more advantageous to buy the Rhino because that is, that is twice the Mighty. This is not inclusive of the transportation. So with the transportation cost, you would have to negotiate with the driver. So if you have your own truck, you can just drive to the, the quarry area and then buy it. So the two places they sell these stones in Accra are Kwabenya and then Oibi. So for the entire project, we use two and a half trucks of the Mighty and then one Rhino. And we still have some stones left, which we can use for other things later. We bought the two Mighty trucks instead of one Rhino because we're doing other parts of the project alongside the stone. So we had to apportion the resources available accordingly. Now, before you buy the stones, you need to decide on the color of stones you want. And that decision would have to factor in the color of the paint of your building. If you're going to use a bright colored paint for your building, you need a darker stone. And if you're going to use a darker paint, you're going to go for a brighter colored stone so that you have that contrast between the stone and the paint. If you don't pay attention to this, you will spend so much money to do this and it's not going to stand out. We didn't pay attention to that initially. So you will see later in the video that the ground floor had a brighter colored stone than those at the top. So we had to change the color of the stones at the top when we realized we we're going to use a bright paint for the building. And I must say that even though we haven't decided on the actual paint color for the building, the paint of the architectural drawing was enough hint to us that we would go for a brighter colored paint. So on your screens are the various options I had to choose from. So um, at least it will give you a fair idea what uh, options are available to you. Once you have decided on the color and bought the stones, the next thing is the breaking or cutting of the stone to the appropriate sizes for laying. You have two options, the hand cut one, which is being done on the screen now, and then the machine cut one, as you see on your screen. I decided to go for the manual option because I prefer the imperfections that come out when you hand break it. It gives it a more natural look. Whereas the machine cut ones would make it look like you have laid towels because of the perfection with the cutting. I must however indicate that the hand cut one is a little bit more expensive than the machine cut ones. So for the hand cut ones, after you have bought the truck full of stones, you would be paying between 100 and 130 Ghana cities, which is about 15 to 20 dollars per square meter for both the breaking and then the laying of the stones. 
and this was the price as at August 2021. In the case of the machine cut ones, it was 60 CDs for the cutting and then you usually pay the same amount you would for tiling which was um, around between 15 and 25 CDs. So basically you would end up paying about 80 to 85 CDs per square meter if you're going to go with the machine cut option. So what you see on your screen now are the hand broken pieces for the laying. Okay, so now let's talk about the laying. So for the cement mix, you would need one bag of cement to half wheelbarrow of sand. So with this, the mortar has to be rich. This is going to be a pure one is to one. So for one bag of cement, you can use the cement bag to measure sand so that you can have the pure one on one. For the ground floor, at least if you have multiple stories like ours, and then for the top floors, we just did one bag of cement to one wheelbarrow of sand. So the Ghana one is to one, basically. So once you finish the ground floor, you can go ahead and then mix it one bag of cement to one wheelbarrow of sand. The wheelbarrow shouldn't be heaped. It has to be leveled. So once the first few courses are laid, they will use a rope to pick the level all the way up. And the green rope you see is for that purpose. And if you are concerned about the thickness of the mortar, you shouldn't because they actually put some stones in there, as you can see on your screen, to fill up the mortar space. So it's not just going to be all pure mortar, but to be honest, it does consume a lot of mortar. So definitely you would spend a little more on the cement so take note the guys who do this kind of work are usually doing it for waterlogged areas so once they come they would require you buy waterproofing chemical to be mixed with the mortar but you don't need that if you're doing this purely for aesthetic purposes like in our case so we didn't have to buy any waterproofing solution or chemical because our place is well drained and it's purely for the looks of it, not uh, to prevent a damping of the wall on the building. All right, so let's look at how you can get the people to do, the, to do this work for you so um, usually once you get to anywhere they sell the stones you should get the guys to give you a contact of the people who do who do the stone laying you i know along the road on the hacho atomic down road just in front of the atomic energy commission between just between the between the atomic energy commission and the atomic police station you will see these stone sellers lined up on the road with the uh, with heaps of stones some of them do the stone laying themselves if they don't they will give you the contacts of one of the people who will be able to do it for you again on the Legon Gempa Boundary Road, that's the new road that leads to Fiesta Royale, just between Legon and, and Gempa, you would have these guys there. They have their contacts written on, on samples that they've displayed by the roadside. A word of caution here, people. Do not buy the stones from the people by the roadside locations I have indicated, unless you just need a small quantity. Those roadside guys are retailers, so their prices are on the higher side. So if you're doing a bigger project, then go to the locations at either OEB or um, Kwabenya. I don't know if they have a wager, but the two places I know they sell where I bought is OEB and uh, Kwabenya. Once you get in touch with the person going to do the stonework, they know these locations and they'll be able to direct you as to how you can get the stones from the quarry. Going back to the laying of the stones, 
as an alternative measure i believe a serious mason should be able to do this or any tyler should be able to do this as well if you show them this video the, the breaking and then the laying it should be easy particularly the laying should be very simple for them to do so if you're going for the machine cut ones you can use your normal mason to do that but i believe it will be best to get someone who specializes in laying these stones to do it for you once you are done laying the stones you would need to wash it with acid just like you would for tiles what you see hasn't been washed with acid yet once we, we apply the acid wash you see that it's going to clean all the dirt and the stone is really going to come out nicely all right so this is another thing to take note of usually if it's just one story you are likely not to have any problems but if it's multiple uh, stories that is from three upwards then you are likely to have this um, problem that we had it appears once it got to the top it started bending in so when i got to ghana i just used my laser level to get it and then uh, mark it fortunately um, this was up to just the ground floor and then half of the first floor and since i have an angle grinder i'm just going to cut that uh, excess off so as you can see the laser lies it's just uh, somewhere in the middle of the first floor so usually they put a rope there but i believe whilst they do it maybe a stone will shift the rope and um, they may not realize it because of the expanse of the stonework so you will soon see that on the other side once we saw that problem we paid a particular we paid more attention to it this time so once they were doing it my wife kept checking from the top in fact we had to draw the attention to the fact that the rope had shifted so soon you will notice that with that that's the stonework at the two bedroom side it is very strict when we put the light on so that is the stone the two bedroom side and you can see the light clearly um, on the on the edge and by the way the laser level is a good tool to have i bought this um, i think about 150 dollars that was about three to four years ago since it's for personal use i believe you don't have to buy any professional one which is more expensive so usually with this once i'm around i just use it to check the alignment of the doors the plastering most of the things that are supposed to be straight i just put it on when they know you have it they will do their best to make sure that they have it as straight as possible usually it's quite fulfilling for them when they realize that they've been able to get it very straight even with the normal spirits level and their eye gauge so this is a closer shot of the arrangement and as you can see it looks very natural it is uneven and a bit rough just like you would have it in the natural if you go for the machine cut you will see that all the stones are going to be of the same length and for me that doesn't work that is it for this episode the next video will be on the pop ceiling the processes and the cost involved as well do expect this video within the next two to three weeks thank you for watching and see you in a bit enjoy people